No. Well, Luna, are you going to help me or not? Well, uh, just give me a few facts here and I'll see what I can do. Look, there isn't time. Spencer could be here any second. Where were you coming from? Look, he chased me from the Titan into an abandoned warehouse across the street. I locked him inside, and then I ran through the alley downstairs. I looked up, and I saw the hotel sign, and I remembered you lived here. That's right. I did tell you to come by here if you ever needed some help. And I need your help now. Look, when you came in, did you come by the desk clerk? Of course not. I jimmied the lock on the fire door. Well, if you figured that out, then I'm sure Luke is going to figure that out, too. Well, then give me a place to hide, and fast. Hey, take it easy, will you? Now, look, why don't you just try out there in the fire escape? Yeah, where does it lead to? Leads to nowhere. How can a fire escape lead to nowhere? Because this place is a dump, that's why. Well, isn't there anywhere else to hide? Well, I don't think you want to hide in here anywhere. Yeah, okay, okay. A fire escape will be just fine. Go on. Where is he? Where's who? Don't give me this innocent routine now. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you just come in here barking out orders like that? What is this? That's what I did, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's terrific. Uh, Luke, what do you want? All right, for starters, I'm looking for a guy named Kurt Maxwell. Kurt. Kurt who? Don't play dumb with me. I'm not playing anything with you. I just got back into town. I haven't left the room since. All right, that's what the desk clerk said. Now, see, there you go. Did uh, that jerk give you the key to my room? No, nobody gave it. I took it. You're good at doing that. Yeah, pretty good, aren't I? Oh, uh, look, you about through playing uh, Lieutenant Columbo? Oh, here? I haven't even started. Listen, what are you doing with the window there? Just take it easy. Why do you care if I touch your window? Huh? I don't care. Oh, really? You slimy little creep. I would have known if I had any sense that you would team up with the Cassidines. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got it all wrong here. Luke. Oh, I haven't got anything wrong, man. So what am I supposed to do? Some guy comes busting through my door, then he goes out the window. Where is he, Baldwin? I don't know. Damn it, for once in your life, you give me a straight answer. I am giving you a straight answer here. The guy came in, he went out the window. I don't know where he is. something special <laughs> this is a lucky charm that a friend of mine gave me contained herein is all of the luck of the Irish <laughs> terrific it was Heather really yeah huh. you know it's complicated a woman as she is you wouldn't think that she would rely on luck anything that simple she's, she's so complex Possibly. Do you know, it's frightening to me sometimes how complicated our thought patterns really are. Mm. That's why it's always comforting to know that everyone else is complicated, too. Each in his own way, of course. Well, Joe, I'm gonna go. Oh. And my parting words to you are you just keep everything in perspective. And you're gonna do just fine. Just fine. Thanks, sir. As one professional man to another, I owe you one. Oh, no, no, no. I don't believe in debt, so if you pick up the tab for the chowder and the coffee, we'll call it even right now. What do you're you on. Done. <laughs> Thanks. Good night, Joe. Oh, out into the cold. Yeah. You want some more chowder to take with you? A chowder to go, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Thanks, doctor. Hi, Joe. Where are you been? Upstairs. 
didn't Martha tell you? Yeah, but I just thought she'd be down sooner. Well, why, did I miss something interesting? Dr. Katz was here, had a bowl of soup, and I kept him company while he ate. Well, did you have an interesting conversation? A lengthy one, that's for sure. What did you two talk about? Don't worry. We talked mostly about me. I wasn't worried, Joe. Well, you shouldn't be. He's a good man. He would never betray anything you told him in confidence. Wouldn't matter, even if he did. Really? Why? Well, because uh, I don't have any confidences I'm keeping from you. I wouldn't keep any secrets from you. Wouldn't you? No, of course not. Wouldn't you? Joe, why are you looking at me that way? I was just thinking about your soliciting clients for me at General Hospital. I would think that's something that you'd like to keep secret. Right now? I mean, what kind of a fool do you take me for? How long did you think you would have before I figured out what you were doing? Answer me! I didn't mean any harm. You never do mean any harm. Joe, I was only trying to help you. Help me how? By getting me disbarred? Well, I knew you were starting a new practice and you needed business. I do, yes. So I sent you some. <sighs> that isn't the kind of business I want. That's the kind of business that'll put me out of business. And they're not the kind of clients I want. But, Joe, if you'd taken their cases, then you'd be making a lot of money. <sighs> Have you not heard a single word I just said? I've heard everything you've said. But you don't understand? All I know is I ran into some people who were in trouble, who needed help, good legal advice, which I thought they deserved. So I sent them to a good lawyer, that is you. That beside the point. What is the point? The point is that you were trying to manipulate my life again. You were trying to take it and twist it and make it work out everything in your own special little way. Only because I care about no, you. No, that is not true, because if you cared, you wouldn't lie. I didn't lie. You sure didn't tell me the truth. You didn't ask me. Well, I shouldn't have to ask. Come on, Joe. We've been over and over this. Can't we change the subject? No, Go not on to this something time. Else? We're not changing the subject anymore. I'm not going to change it until you promise me that you will no longer get involved in my professional life. I can't promise you that. And why? Because when two people love each other, I mean, is that what it's all about? Getting involved in each other's lives? I want you to stay out of my life, Baldwin. Both Laura and I want you to stay out of our lives. I have stayed out of your life. Oh, sure you have. How? I promised to keep my distance, and I've kept my distance. Yeah. How do you explain what I found in my stateroom tonight? Your liquor license. Don't play games with me! You took Laura's nightgown, you ripped it into shreds, and you left it on the bed for me to find! I don't know what you're talking about, Luke. What? Now, please don't deny it, because it's a very sick thing that you did, man. And I know that you did it. So there's no need to deny it. You already told me you left the liquor license. That's right. I was over there. I delivered it. But there was nobody on the boat. Uh-huh. So naturally, you just decided to kind of nose around in places that you didn't belong? I figured it was something that you wanted, something that was very important to you, and I wanted to leave it in a place that I was sure that you were going to find it, Perfect. Luke. You put it in a great place. I found it, and I found all your other little calling cards. Luke, I didn't do it. <sighs> okay, then who do you think did it? I don't know. You know, I bumped into this guy when I was coming off the boat. Kurt? That's the guy. That's the guy you were just chasing out the window there. You see what he did? I bet this is what happened. I bet he went in and ripped that thing up, figuring you'd blame me. Then he brought you over here, you know, right on the trail. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's a very nice try. I don't buy it. <laughs> well, Luke, uh, what proof do you have? I don't have any proof. I don't need any proof because I know you did it. Well, Luke, I think that you are wasting my time then. I think that Kurt fellow did it. And I think if you're half as smart as you think you are, you'll be real careful about who you have living on that ship of yours. Well, I'll tell you one thing. 
I don't ever want to see your face there again. In fact, I'd really not like to see your face ever again anywhere. Okay. The last time, stay out of my life. And definitely stay away from my wife. you to cry. I'm only crying because I care about you. I know, you. and I appreciate that. I don't want you to not care. Good, because I don't think I can stop now. I do want you to stop trying to control. Do you really think I'm doing that? Well, weren't you? Maybe. But I swear, Joe, I wasn't doing it on purpose. No, I know. You thought you were doing good. It backfired on me, didn't it? Oh, just don't worry about it. Joe, can I explain something to you about myself? Please do. Well, as you know, I've, I've done a lot of terrible things to people in the past. I know that's wrong now. And I, I deeply regret the things that I did. So, it's become very important to me to try to help people, to try to do good things for people when I can. And sometimes that means butting into other people's business. You're right. There you go. You just, you admitted it. What? Well, that you're butting in, at least... See, at least that shows that you, you're beginning to realize that you are trying to manipulate people. You think that's good? It is the truth. The plain, gorgeous truth. And that's always a step in the right direction. Joe, all I really want is to make you happy. No, no. You gotta want more than that. You can't just want that. But I do. That's all I want. Do you think I put pressure on you? Pressure? What kind to of pressure? To do that. To, to make me happy. No, of course not. Why? Well, Dr. Katz and I were talking earlier, and I decided that I was putting pressure on you to make you live up to my standards. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, because you have to have standards of your own, don't you? I mean, you can't just sit around concentrating on trying to make me happy. You've got to concentrate on making yourself happy. Well, I don't know. I'm confused. Let me just clarify the whole thing for you in one easy formula. The primary consideration in Heather Weber's life has just got to be Heather Weber. You mean I have to put my own business ahead of anyone else's? Exactly. Do you think you can do that? I'll try. Okay, well, I'll try to be a little bit easier on you, too. And forgive me for those accident victims I sent you. You still think there's a chance for us? You can't. You're doing it again. See, you can't ask me that. You've got to know yourself. Let me let me play Dr. Katz for you and just say, do you think that there's any chance? I think I want you and I to work as a couple more than anything else in the world. And what do you say we take a shot at it? Sounds good to me. Can't just sound good. It's got to be good. And we're the only ones that can make it good. And the only way we can do that, believe me, 
We've got to be true to ourselves first, and we've got to be totally honest with one another. And we can make it work if we do it that way. And if it works, then I think you and I are going to have a very solid relationship. That would be wonderful. You really care, don't you? I care. <laughs> You know what I'd like? What? Another kiss just like that one. Wow. You look like well, if you could use a cup of hot coffee. I could use something a lot stronger than that, Martha, but I'll take the coffee for now. <laughs> what happened to your friend? You know the guy who went through the back with the glasses? Yeah, well, he wasn't a friend of mine, but I sure as hell wish I knew where he was now. Luke! Can you join us? Uh, yeah, okay, for a minute. I saw you when I came in, so I didn't want to interrupt. Oh, now. Well, now, that didn't stop you before. <laughs> well, that's true. I guess that was pretty rude, running in here after some bimbo through the kitchen and all. Did you ever catch the guy? Oh, no, I was close. He got away. What was going on there? I mean, what happened? <laughs> it's a long story. I can't really go into it right now. I gotta gulp down this coffee and get to the airport. Oh, is Laura coming in? She left New York around 11 o'clock. I can't wait to see her. Thank you. 